hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be showing you guys how i achieved this look that i have on this is a soft cut crease it's a orangey looking cut crease look that i created using the juvia's place palette if you guys would like to see how i achieved this look please keep on watching do not forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and make sure you watch till the end guys I'll see you guys in my next video. So first of all, I'm going to prep my skin and I'm going in with the Milani Prime Shield Primer. This is a mattifying primer and I'm just applying it in the areas I would normally get oily, you know, around my cheek area, my nose and my forehead. Now I'm going in with the Milani Mills in Bronze Gold. This is just to give my skin some sort of glowy finish. As you guys can see it is fresh and it is glowing now i'm going to go in with my other beauty Fort filter foundation in the shade cinnamon and i'm using this brush from rj beauty it is amazing this is like my favorite brush to use to apply foundation on my face it's more like a beauty blender it's so soft and yeah it gets the job done really well for concealer, I'm going in with the ColourPop Pro Filter Concealer in the shade Tan. And I'm just applying it in the areas that I would normally want to make bright. Yeah, so that's like my under eye area, my nose, my forehead, my chin area, and my cupid's bow area as well. And I'm just going to go on ahead and blend this all out with a beauty blender. This beauty blender is damp. I always make sure that my beauty blender is damp and then I'm just blending it in. I'm going to contour my nose. That's the only area that I'm really like focusing on for contour. And I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Espresso. And yeah, I'm just using my finger to blend that out. I've been doing that a lot lately. I don't even know why. Now I'm going to set my face using the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder with the same beauty blender that I used earlier on. And I'm just applying that in the areas that I applied my highlight shade. Now I'm going to just use a powder to do my overall contour, um, just to contour the perimeters of my face and just a little bit of my nose area. Now I'm going to do my brows and I'm using this product from HDS Beauty. It's a brow and shadow palette and you can use it to create your brow. So I'm just creating my brows right now. And whenever I use this product, I usually go in from the areas that I know that I have really sparse hair. And I fill that up and then I go in into the areas that I do not have so much hair in the inner areas of my eyebrows. So now I'm going in with a dark shade. This, this, is, this is actually black. But I'm just tapping that just a little bit in the outer areas of my brows just to intensify that area so it doesn't look like you know the outer area is is light and the inner area is dark do you get what i mean it gets like a even gradient effect now i'm cleaning up my brows and i'm using this flat brush from evita joseph as well as a concealer the concealer that i'm using is called fawn from ellie girl cosmetics and yeah, I'm just making sure that my brows look really nice, like really nice. You guys tell me what products you guys use to clean out your brow. Do you guys use the same product as your um, highlight color or do you use a different product? Now for transition color, I'm going in with this shade from the Juvia's Place palette and I'm just going to use that as my transition shade. As you can see, I'm already just applying that and I'm blending it all out, like blending it really properly. Now I'm going to go in with this dark earthy brown shade and this will be my outer V color. I'm just going to place that in my outer V and make sure that it's really dense and it's really visible. Now, obviously, I'm pushing that in into the inner corners of my eyes. And then I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. And I'm going to create a cut crease shape with the concealer. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm using the concealer to create the crease. I'm being very gentle. Trust me, this is on fast forward. Now, I'm going to go in with this shade. It's a shimmery color from the same palette. And I'm just going to tap that into 
the lead of my eyes. Now I'm going back in with the shade that I use for my outer V area and I'm just going to apply that in my outer V and bring it in and make sure that I blend it out properly to create a gradient effect. No hash lines guys, no hash lines. Next, I'm going in with the Ingla Gel Liner in number 77 and I'm using that to create a wing. This wing is actually very minimal. If you guys know, I love it. A good wing liner but yeah I'm just creating a small wing and I'm also applying that in my tear dot area as well to make my eyes pop you know what liner does now it makes your eyes just look really nice yeah so before I apply my lashes I'm going in with mascara I'm using the Zaron cosmetics mascara this is like one of the holy grail mascaras and I'm going in with my lashes and these lashes are from Denique lashes. I absolutely love them because they are wispy lashes. I wish I was able to show you guys what they look like. And now I'm going to go back into my under eye area and I'm just going to smudge that dark brown shade that I use for my outer V. Now I'm going to apply powder on my face. I'm using the MAC Cosmetics powder in the shade NC50. For bronzer, I'm going in with the CoverGirl bronzer in Ebony Bronze. This is one of my Holy Grail bronzers. And I'm using the RJB um, contour brush to do this step. I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty highlighter in Kilowatt and Hustler Baby. A mixture of the both of them. And I'm just applying this in the high points of my face just to give myself and my face nice glow. A nice glow. I'm going in with the Tara Cosmetics Brown Pencil and I'm also mixing the MAC Cosmetics Honey Love in the center of my lips and I'm going to go in and use Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm all over my lips to give it some juiciness, some glossiness. <laughs> So guys, here you have it. This is the final look. This is what it looks like. So if you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something from it, let me know in the comment section down below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, more videos like this, more colors, let me know as well. And yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.